when they proposed the idea of an agentic browser, I thought it's going to be a simple browser with some AI powered features like page summarization. But things got changed when I actually got access, and the capabilities and features of Perplexity Comet forced me to create this video. So, yeah, let's start with an honest review about world's first agentic AI powered browser, Perplexity Comet, and then we'll see how everyone can access it without paying $200 or having an wallet. So, let's dive in. Perplexity Comet is an agentic browser which makes AI to think and act like humans and perform different browsing tasks just like humans. Comet is based on Chromium framework just like Chrome and that makes it too much user friendly because with a few clicks you can import all of your settings, history and bookmarks directly into Comet. It also gives you all customization features just like Chrome and that makes it too much user friendly and superior than other AI powered browsers. That's it from technical intro. Let's start with use cases. Let's start with a complex task. Open assistant and I have entered a prompt here. In this prompt, I have asked it to perform multi-level tasks. So it will open a website, then it will search a keyword on website, then will apply a filter and then it will download a file. So in this prompt, I have asked it to open Freepik and then it will search YouTube thumbnails on Freepik. Then it will, you know, apply a filter which will only show free thumbnails and then it will download one for us. So let's hit enter. Okay, now let's go back to this task and you can see these colored edges which means the agent is working on this tab. It's now on Freepik website. Now it has such for YouTube thumbnails and right here you can see it's reasoning and thinking. Now it's applying filter and it has applied free filter right here and now it will find a thumbnail for us to download. I have asked it to download a tech related thumbnail. Now it's searching for a tech related thumbnail and when it will find it, it will simply download it. So it says it has found a tech related thumbnail which is actually a YouTube thumbnail template. Now it's going to download it. It completed all the tasks except one which was downloading of a thumbnail. Here it's telling the reason download required creating a free week account. Because in testing phase, I have used all of my 10 free downloads per day. That's why it's asking me to create account. That's why the agent failed to download the thumbnail. So for me, it has passed the test. Now, in this use case, I am asked this agentic browser to find a specific information or a specific file from the whole website. So, I have opened my website right here and now I am going to open assistant and you can see it has selected this tab. Now, I am going to give prompt and in this prompt, I have asked it to find posts where I have given my WhatsApp channel link and it will give us the channel link and the post link. Let's hit enter. So it went through all of the web pages and right here it has shown me all of the blog posts where I have given my WhatsApp channel link and the channel link is also mentioned right here. So if we open this uh, Quillbot blog post, you can see right here I have given my WhatsApp channel link and you all guys make sure to follow our WhatsApp channel because there we provide a lot of premium content completely free so for me this agentic browser has completed this task successfully you may say that you can do all of these things yourself yeah you can but the best thing about comet is that it can perform all of these tasks in background and you can focus on other tasks in the same time these are just simple use cases for demo purposes you can do a lot more with comet it's all about your imagination and your prompting skills this is one of my most favorite use case for this agentic browser. So let's open assistant. I'm giving it a prompt and prompt is open hosting or get a cheap hosting add it to cart and then find different discount codes check them on hostinger and provide me working codes so what it will do it will open hostinger website then it will choose a hosting plan then it will add it to cart and then we'll be on checkout page and then it will go to google and find us a different coupon codes and then it will test all of those coupon codes directly on hostinger web page and then it will give us working codes so let's hit enter so here you can see it's now using this tab 
to perform the actions it has open hosting now it will add a hosting plan into cart and right here in the right side in assistant dashboard you can see all the reasoning and working so it's choosing the plan here you can see it has chosen the hosting plan for us now the subtotal is 143.52 dollars now it will find us a working coupon code and will test it for us so it's gone to google opened many websites and now it has found a co coupon code now it will test this coupon code and you can see it's testing right here it has entered now it will click apply and see if it's working or not so the coupon code is working and we have got 8% discount so now it will stop the task and will say that we have successfully completed it so for me it has successfully completed the task now in this task we are going to see if it can navigate through different websites and fill a form for us or not so let's open assistant and I'm asking you to go to Google Cloud Skill Boost website and create account there using demo details. So our purpose is to see if it can fill the demo details or not. So right now it's on form page and here it need to fill this form using demo details. Here are the details. Now it's entering all the details right here and you can see all this happening in real time. So for me, it has passed the test. Now it's just creating account and that's not to the part of test. So let's leave it right here and we have tested it and it's working completely fine. Now this is the second part of the video in which we will see how we can download and use Perplexity Comet browser completely free without having max subscription or without having an invite. And the bonus part is using this method you not only will be able to download and use it you will also get one or two Perplexity Comet browser invites completely free. So you can invite your friends if you want to mm, do things legally otherwise you can share this video with them. So open your favorite browser. Now search for Perplexity Comet Browser by AI Ustad. Search it and right here you will see our blog post open it. Now here you can read everything about this browser. When you will scroll down you will see this download section and right here on this secret download button when you will click it it will redirect you to media file page where you will be able to download its installer simply click on download and here you can see that download is started make sure to join our whatsapp channel because they will provide a lot of premium content completely free it's important our installer is downloaded now let's run it you can see our installer is started simply click on start install and now it will start downloading the main browser Simply click on launch comet. Now here if you want to import your Chrome profiles you can directly do it from here. It will import your settings, bookmarks, extension and history. And if you do not want to import anything simply click on do this later and enter your profile name. Click on continue. Now it's asking us to configure it. If you want to make comment default, simply check this. I do not want to make it default browser, so I'm going to uncheck it. If you want to add it in your taskbar, okay, keep it there. If you want to add it on startup, okay. And if you want to share your data with them to improve this product, simply check this. I do not want to send my data to them. So simply click on start comment. Here you can see the comet is started successfully and now it's asking us 
to sign in with a perplexity account in the chrome they ask us to sign with a google account in the comment browser they are asking us to you know sign in with a perplexity account so they will use this perplexity account to provide us different agentic features so here you need to input your email address So I have signed it with my perplexity account and the dashboard look like this and if you click it here you can see the perplexity pro here and there are two things bonus right here for you one if you want to get perplexity pro completely free make sure to subscribe to our channel the next video is going to be how you can get perplexity pro completely free make sure to join our whatsapp channel too because we provide a lot of stuff there too and the second thing if you open a new tab this is the default dashboard for comet and if you see here invites you can see you have the invites you will have one or two invites completely free so if you want to invite someone legally you can simply use this invite section or you can simply send them this video i will appreciate sharing of this video please share this as much as possible because i'm putting all lots of things in this including the risk of losing my channel so that's it that was the method that how you can get perplexity comet browser completely free and you will also have the perplexity pro and a few invites to share with your friends so that's it from today's video if you have enjoyed make sure to hit the subscribe and like button also make sure to drop a comment below and must join our whatsapp channel because there we provide a lots of premium stuff completely free and with all this keep remembering me in your praise goodbye peace out